It was two and a half years ago since we last did a travel vlog and I said at the end of the last one, next time we're in Rotterdam. Well, nearly three years on and here we are heading for Rotterdam, so join us on the canals of the Netherlands. Chris and I head off from the local boat base at Alfin after completing our training and boat induction, along with one very excited moose. Well, we're setting off for a week-long trip on the canals of the Netherlands. This week we'll be travelling along the canals and through some of the lakes onto Leiden, down to Delft, back to Lieshan Dam, out to the coast at Katvik, then back across the lakes on our return to Alfin. But tonight, we're just taking a short hop to a marina at the start of the first lake, Brassemermeer. So I'm making the bed at the end of a very long day. We've made our way from Harwich on the ferry to the Netherlands, and we've made our way to Alphen. And then I've had to learn how to drive the boat, and we've driven to the first place which I can't pronounce, unfortunately. Right, we're off for the second day, and we're off to Leiden, crossing a couple of lakes. I see a windmill. Oh yeah. We are in the Netherlands. We crossed the first lake, Brassenmermeer, and followed the canal through the beautiful Dutch countryside until we reached the second lake of Karl. There's no shortage of windmills along the way and even more bridges. Waiting for the bridge to open at Meerbrug. There are lots of bridges here. I like the way the instructor was kind of saying how easy it was. It's just like a car. He doesn't realise how long, many years ago it was since I last drove a car. <laughs> We're lost in the Karg Lake, but we hope we're going the right way and we end up in Leiden this evening. It's a very busy lake with lots of boating activity. Today we have a fairly short but interesting trip down to Leiden. We soon learn that following other boats that are going our way can speed up getting through the bridges. Bow and stern thrusters make manoeuvring this boat pretty easy. So on the second day we've done some lakes as well as canals, uh, which was really nice. And we've ended up in a beautiful town called Leiden. Well here we are in Leiden and what a beautiful place it is. Uh, Chris done a fantastic job of bringing us in and negotiating various awkward bridges and turns and mooring us up in here. 
and uh, what a delightful place it is. So we're going to go for a wander into the old town now and have a look around. The marina at Leiden was very friendly and welcoming. Leiden itself is a lovely city and a place I'd certainly like to go back to again sometime. We arrive in Leiden on a Saturday afternoon, which is market day, so it's all very busy. Leiden is an ancient city, famous for the country's oldest university, dating back to the 1500s. There's supposed to be a windmill around here somewhere. We have a good look round before heading back to the boat and having a nice meal in the marina. The sun was too hot so I moved into the shade. 2.4, so we haven't got enough yeah. Next day, we set off to Delft. We pass a double swing and lift bridge that even has a railway running across it. sure what that was, but I want one. As we approached Lichang Dam, I thought we were coming up to another bridge, but it actually turned out to be the one and only lock that we passed through on the entire trip. We've had a long day today, we started from Leiden and we're going to Delft and we're practically there. It's a tight one. We arrive in Delft late afternoon, but we just miss out on the last berth in the main marina basin. We were able to moor up a little further past the basin along the roadside, which meant we got a free night and only a couple of extra minutes walk into town. The lovely canal city of Delft has a medieval old town with a bustling market square. Delft is famous for its hand-painted blue and white pottery.
course, all this sightseeing is making us thirsty. So we're looking around the sites of Delft and we found a microbrewery and I'm having a nice IPA. did some lovely food too. I'm planning a route to Leidschand and we're planning to stay tonight and there's a mooring there and restaurants and there was a nice lock that we went through yesterday. Leidschand. It's a slightly chilly morning first thing as we head off, but it soon warms up. Our little ship has a clearance height of 2.9 metres, so a 3 metre bridge has us on our hands and knees, head way below deck in order to squeeze underneath it. And we just about make it, which is more than I can say for the microphone on top of the camera. We decided not to go all the way down to Rotterdam, or up to Amsterdam by boat this time, as we're going to be staying in both of those cities after this boat trip. You can see more from Rotterdam in our next video. We get back to the lock at Liedschen Dam. Like our spot in Delft, the visitor moorings at Liedschan Dam were free for 24 hours and with shore power available. So here we are, we've just arrived in Liedschan Dam. We've come from Delft this morning, only a couple of hours journey today, fairly short hop, but we thought we'd stop at this really idyllic looking place with the lock that you've seen us come through and uh, have a look around town. Come on with us. Key West Key Lime Cheesecake Ice Cream. Oh, the pains we have to go to to make these vlogs. We're spending the afternoon in Lee Chendam. We've had a quick look round and we've been up to the windmill behind me and we found a supermarket and got provisions. So later on we're going to have dinner on board. It's a good sharp knife this. So tonight I'm going to cook some pasta, sauce, onion, peppers, tomatoes on the boat. Uh, while it's still nice and sunny, we can sit outside on the deck and eat it. Right, start cooking then. There's enough battery power to cook a light meal on board, but we've hooked up to shore power most of our stops this week. In most cases, you just plug into the closest power point and activate it and pay via an app on your smartphone. Voila, dinner is served. Pint of champagne. Mm. 
Well, that was nice. Mm. That's a nice side. Next morning, we decide to head north to the seaside. Today we came from Lee Chandam to Katmik, which is by the North Sea. We take a good look around the seafront and the town of Katvik before hunting down somewhere nice to eat and drink. Yeah. We found a beer place and we're just going to have some food. Cheers. Our listen built Penichet 950E boat has been an absolute dream to sail for the week. Plenty of space for the two of us, everything we could need on board, and pretty easy to manoeuvre too. We'll show you around it more thoroughly when we moor up. The weather this week has really played a big part in taking this trip to the next level too. Today we're making our way back across Carg Lake. We pull into the marina at Karg and get allocated a visitor berth on the outer wall, which makes it handy for a quick getaway in the morning. Chris decides to brave the water. We're in Carg Lake next to the marina and I just went for a swim. The air temperature is lovely and warm but the water is pretty cold. This is the inside of the boat. Over this side we've got the kitchen area with cooker. Uh, sink and food preparation well stocked up with all cutlery, knives and forks and 
plates, etc. So very well uh, kitted out. We've got some more storage up there. And as we come down from there, we've got a seating area and table. We're coming back a bit further. We have the toilet. And quite a nice bathroom and shower. Moving on, we're in a second area with a bed, which is sofa bed, uh, but it's probably one of the most comfortable beds I've slept in for ages, and we've slept really well on the boat. Uh, and over here is the downstairs bridge, and this is where the fluffies live. So we can control the boat from in here if it was raining, but there really isn't much sign of that happening this week. This is the bow of the boat, just really a seating area, but it's, sometimes it's nice to sit out the front rather than the back um, when the sun's low in the sky. And this is the best bit upstairs. This is the fly deck of the boat, um, and this week, because the weather's really nice, we've been able to steer from here all week long. No cooking for us tonight as we found an Italian pizza restaurant on the island, just a short stroll away. Cheers. Moose is up bright and early the next morning, even before the ducks wake up. Bit of breakfast before we're off. Most of the marinas we've stayed in had full shower facilities, but we've generally showered on the boat and topped up with water every day or so. And we've never run short of water. We get maps and charts of all the canal routes provided on the boat. But we've been making use of a seven day free trial of a GPS app called Nautical Map to pinpoint and find our way around the canal system, along with lots of useful information about marinas and contact details for bridges. It made the whole experience pretty easy and hassle free. Whoever's trying to ring my phone right now, it's being used as the GPS on our boat, so stop ringing me. <laughs> I'm on holiday. This is Spaniard Brook. I'm going to have to call the bridge to get them to open it for us. Okay. Back off. Hello, Spaniard Brook heading for Alphen. Yes, uh, I've opened the bridge in uh, five minutes. Thank you. But first we have to give way to a much larger vessel coming the other way. Where's our last day today? And um, we're back on the old Rhine heading back to Alphen. Oh. Stolen the boat off of Chris, well, at least long enough that he can take a picture of me anyway. We've got the whole canal to ourselves. The Rhine is a bit more industrial, but still very beautiful in places.
not going to miss this. Time for some lunch on the move. And before you know it, it's time to return to Alpha and moor up one last time. Our week-long experience with Locoboat has been really great. We've already booked another trip in France, so watch out for that one. Next time, we finally make it to Rotterdam, where we stay on an amazing old Dutch barge. We encounter all sorts of boats, visit windmills, and see the sights of Rotterdam, plus place and pinball. So don't forget to subscribe and catch up with the next part very soon.